Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. Why is my IP address in a different state? Have you ever checked your IP address and found out it's showing a location that's not even close to where you are? This can be really confusing, especially if you're trying to use services that are location specific. Let's break it down. When you connect to the internet, your internet service provider, ISP, assigns you an IP address. This IP address is usually tied to the geographic area where the ISP operates. However, things can get complicated. Sometimes, ISPs acquire blocks of IP addresses from other regions. This means that even though you're in one state, your IP address might show up as being in another state because it was previously assigned to someone else in that area. Another reason this happens is due to how ISPs manage their IP address pools. They often shuffle these addresses around the country, and the geolocation data associated with these addresses might not get updated immediately. This can lead to your IP address showing a different location than where you actually are. Additionally, if you're using a dynamic IP address, which changes periodically, you might notice your location changing each time your IP address changes. This is because dynamic IP addresses are assigned from a pool, and this pool can include addresses from various geographic locations. Network infrastructure also plays a role. The configuration of networks can result in multiple users sharing the same IP address or using addresses that correspond to a different geographic area. This can further obscure the precise location data. So what can you do if this is happening to you? If it's causing issues with services you need, you can try reporting the incorrect geolocation data to the relevant providers. There are several services that allow you to request corrections, such as MaxMind or IP2 location. However, it can take some time, often a month or more, for these corrections to be made. In summary, your IP address showing a different state is often due to how ISPs manage and assign IP addresses, and it's not uncommon. While it can be inconvenient, there are steps you can take to correct the issue if it's affecting your online activities. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.